Now, answer me this, though, Ken. During your time when you were locked down, man, what were those conversations like with your other people in prison that weren't getting out, man? And what were the stories that they were telling, and how were they feeling at that time? Because that's another thing that I think a lot of folks think that, you know, they might be able to go in and come right back out, but that's not really the case for everybody. Well, man, I'm going to tell you something. If you go to feds and if they give you 30 years, you're going to do 85% of your time. You know what I'm saying? It's 85% of your time. And I'm going to tell you, I, I I was a young man when I went to prison. One of my partners, man, you know, uh, his name Bear. Y'all might have read about him in my, the first chapter of my book. He came in there. He had 30 years. Next time I saw the man, I did I did maybe three months. I was on my way out. Next time I see him, man, it was 27 years later. Mm. You know what I'm saying, man? Them folks, you understand me? You a business, man. You know what I'm saying? Me, if you young... And you mighty and you strong, they're going to use every bit of your energy, man. They're going to use you like a dog, use a slave, man. They're not letting you up out of there, man. You are worth money to these people, man. Where else do you work somebody for 15 and 16 cents an hour? Man, you can't do nothing but come up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at the slave. Look, look at Mississippi. Look at uh, 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 Georgia. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Mississippi in particular. Mississippi doing slavery was the wealthiest a uh, state in the world in the union. Mm. It's the poorest state in the union now. Why? Because they don't have slavery no more. <laughs> what you think gonna happen if they take them brothers out the penitentiary? They gonna bankrupt. They is not fit to not lock brothers up. So man, if you hustling, hey man, the object of the game, and I give y'all this some free game, is to get in and get out. You know what I'm saying? Me, hey man, like I used to say, like I said in my book, turn them ends into dividends. You know what I'm saying? Me, hey man, you can buy a house. You can buy a car. You can buy a whole bunch of stuff, man. You can start selling cars. You can get you a Airbnb. You can get you, is that Turbo? What they call that stuff? Toro. Toro. You get a Toro. You get all that stuff, man. <laughs> Y'all know me. I ain't got one, but I know they got them. I know a lot of people got them, man. <laughs> Shit. You know, but, but I'm just saying, you know, that it's a lot of hustles that they can do, man. But those folks is not going to let you out that jail. I mean, I, 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 I was looking at a, a thug situation, right? And, and I was looking at, you know, all the time they was facing. And I said, man, these folks is trying to set this man up for life, man. Because even if he beat the case, they still got him going to hit him with the feds case, man. Yeah. That's how serious these folks is about preserving these hotels. That's what they is. They're hotels. If you got a hotel, what you need? Occupants. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that's what we are. Black men are worth more in the penitentiary to these white folks than he is on the streets. Because every black man that go to prison is worth a hundred thousand dollars a year to these folks. They can't man. get a job making a hundred thousand outside. And guess where they got all the prisons crazy. at? In rural America. So you you know ain't now one of them white folks out there in Tuckabuck, Georgia, wherever they at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ain't now one of them people. Oh, they didn't even know. It's not, don't laugh at me, B. You know, nah, country, you man. Cut up. You, you know, my daddy, daddy, my, daddy my, my daddy from uh, from, from Jackson, from Oxford, Mississippi. So I yeah. got a lot of his ways, right? But number of them people, man, ain't gonna protest. Black men come to jail when you feeding their family. Yeah, man. Some of them, man, it's like a culture, man, man, dude. I, I, I'd have been in the penitentiary, and R Richie probably know what I'm talking about, he'd been in the penitentiary too. I'd have been in the penitentiary uh, where uh, the father, the son, the mother, the cousin, all of them worked in the same prison. Mm, fact. You know what I'm saying? It's a family business. Yeah. And America know what they're doing. These city boys, these ones that's getting money, the one CCA Correction Corporation, man, they know what they're doing. They know these people, man, is gonna go to jerk, they go to work, they're gonna they gonna they're gonna they're gonna put it, their hours in and they're gonna do time with it. Cause you know, the prison ain't doing time, they doing time too. Mm. You know, everybody doing time yeah. in the penitentiary. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they can get shanked just like them brothers get shanked. I haven't seen a lot of police get shanked in the feds. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a lot of police get their head peeled. You know what I mean? So, you know, we all doing time.